This is an eastern red cedar transplant that we put in the soil in May. The weather was good and for a couple of weeks we got adequate moisture and time for this tree to get established. It now went through a dry period in July and August and we had virtually no losses in the field. We like a heavy transplant when we're starting out in the springtime because a heavy transplant can withstand dry weather if should it occur after planting. The eastern red cedar is easy to grow and it grows in a wide range of soils. This is an area where we planted white pine. These were also 9 to 12 inches and now at the end of the, the summer they are about 15 to 18 inches tall. We did not lose any trees in this field for transplanting, and we attribute that to the fact that we had the trees in and in time, they were large enough to have some reserves to last through any part of the dry season that we had this year. We, we sell a lot of these seedlings. We sell all kinds of seedlings, so if you need seedlings or transplants, give us a call. But we do not recommend seedlings be placed directly into the, into the field or into your landscape. We like to grow seedlings in pots and grow them up, and after they're grown up, then they make great candidates for being put out into the field. We like to have a high success rate when we plant because we don't want to have to go through the field and replace things that die. So use a heavy transplant if you're going to directly plant into your field or your landscape. This tray contains some small arborvitaes called Forever Goldie. They, they are well developed upstairs, but the root system wasn't well developed, so we decided we would just take these and grow these out in one gallon pots and so that we could get a better root system on them before we put them out into the field. It may take a little longer to get the trees into the field, but a better established tree that you plant in the field will perform better than a weak tree that's stressed out on initial planting. These are green giants that we grew from small cuttings. We grew these in pots and now they're about two to three foot tall and we're going to plant these out into the field with our tree planter. Our tree planter can plant, if all conditions are good, between three to four thousand trees in a day with a four-man crew. The planter puts them in a nice long straight row which makes the mowing and care for the trees easy. We will have to go over these trees as some of them will need to be tamped into the ground and some will need to be staked. We sell arborvitas in, in seedlings, cut rooted cuttings, small pots such as these two to three foot high. We sell them all the way up to 18 to 20 foot tall. We are located in Fountainville, PA near Doylestown. All right, we're out in the field. We just planted some of the trees with the tree planter. As you notice, when the trees are going through, not all of them are exactly straight or not all of the roots are covered. So we go through and we just we take our feet if we can. Sometimes we have to use our hands a little bit and straighten them and make sure that there's plenty of dirt around the roots so they don't dry out. And we just tamp them down just a little bit to make sure that they are stable and secure in the ground. Okay, after you do this, what's your next step? Well, it depends on what it is, but we we'll probably have to put irrigation to this since we don't have enough water in the field. It's very dry. So we'll have to put some irrigation on it. Medicine. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. If you have any questions, you can call us about trees and shrubs at Highland Hill Farm. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Our telephone number. I'm Bill. I'm Marge. And this is our tree farm. Our farm is located near Doylestown, PA. We work here at our farm with our sons, Michael and our son, Jamie. One thing we've learned after 35 years in the tree business is that we never know what job we're going to do next. It's 215-651-8329. Thank you.